Hello, the Network Berg here. Hope you're doing well. In this lecture, we'll be going over net install. So I could have covered this in the resetting and backing up bit of the, the videos, but it would have definitely increased that size by a bit too long. And net install, I think, deserves its respect of being an individual topic because it, it can almost do as much harm as good as it can do. So let's get into net install. All right, so what is net install? Why do we want to use net install? Net install is an application that you can download onto your computer. It allows you a means of reinstalling the operating system. So let's say you've got a Microtech and you log onto it and for some reason the OS is just really weird. You can't do any upgrades. Some of the menu items are missing or swapped around and you don't just want to give up on this market. You think it's still fine. It's only been up for like six months or so. Something's definitely weird here. In scenarios like that, you might be able to use net install to fix the issues on the market tick because there might be some back end issues that you can't see and fix by just doing an operating system uh, upgrade. You might need to do a net install, which lets you get onto that back end of the market tick and then force the operating system to boot up on a specific version uh, this is also a means that you can use i don't want to say for password recovery because you're going to factory reset the market tick to get back on it but yeah so net install does all those wonderful things let's quickly get net install by going to market website and we can navigate to the software tab and then net install we'll just download the latest version for that and we just want to also find the package or operating system that we can install using net install. So I'm going to use this MIPS uh, since I have a 951. So I'll download this package. I'm going to downgrade it to a previous version because let's say version 6.4.9, I was having some issues. Um, let's download the previous version, save that as well. And now we've got net install and we've got that. Firstly, we just want to unzip the net install program so I can get that by going into my downloads and let's just extract here and then I'll get a little net install application that I can use so I'm going to open this up and there's nothing going to be here except it's already going to find that version 6.48.5 that I downloaded which is in my downloads directory so it knows about the operating system that I want to upgrade to or downgrade to in this case um, next step that I want to do is I'm just going to make sure that my firewall is off. So let's just go firewall. Make sure this is off. And then we need to just set our IP address as well. So let me go into my internet settings. I'm going to change my address. And I'm just going to match that with what the default config would be whenever you boot up a router board for the first time. So I'm making that 88. Dot one is my gateway, 88.2 is my machine. And <laughs> one more thing we need to do, we're gonna go to this net booting and then we just need to set this client IP address to match that range, so 88.3, I'm going to apply that. All right, so now we are ready to actually do a net install. And to do that, we need to put the router board into ether boot mode. So to achieve that, we actually need to pick up the router, power it off, then we need to hold in the uh, reset button until it goes into ether boot mode. We'll actually see the router board come up in this menu. So I'm going to power off my Microtech. I'm going to find something to press in this uh, ether tab with. So just give me a second. I might pause the video. I'll be right back. All right, I got a pin to push in. And I've also just moved an ether and a cable to port one on the Microtech. So from my computer, I'm connecting to port one. I'm going to push down this reset button. Let me just make sure it gets pushed down nicely and then I'm going to insert power while I'm pushing down the button. And now we play the waiting game and hope that we actually see this uh, device in the list. So we're just waiting for this to enter ether boot mode. There we go. Device beeped, and now I can see my RB951 in the list. So now I can actually <coughs> install 
this uh, package. I need to just click the pa package so it's ticked off. And I might apply a default config as well. And I've selected the device and then I'll click install. So this is now formatting, formatting the drive of the Microtech. Now it's uploading the new OS and then hopefully when we're done, we can connect onto the Microtech as if everything is working or hopefully we fixed everything with the Microtech so that we don't have any issues. All right, it's done. It's just busy booting up again. I'm just going to move my ethernet cables around a little bit just so that my computer connects on port two and my WAN connection happens on ether one. And let's just see, can I pick up the device on Winbox? I'll just refresh here. Awesome. So there we've got identity router OS, but it, it did add the, the firmware version. So this is perfect. Um, it should be admin blank now. Alrighty. And there we go. This is a factory reset using the net install and we also reverted to a different operating system. So this will help you just con like resolve any issues if you potentially had an operating system issue. Net install is perfect for that, but it, it has some, some strange quirks like having to move onto port one and setting your IP address in that range and all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.